Hello everyone, so now we are going to do one more lab. Now I am going to use three switch and we are going to use the axis point. So let's see. So I have three switches. We can say ground floor, first floor and second floor. And I will take this link from here to here. And then we will take some PC. Let me take two PC in the ground floor okay and two pc in the first floor two or three pc in the second floor and we are going to take some server also here and we will take some access point so we will take here access point i think this is the access point we can take this one okay let me remove this server this is the access point we can take so let me connect the devices i will say this is a access point for the ground floor and this pc belongs to ground floor here i have so we will create some vlan okay so just i am connecting i will explain you all so now i will take some client also like wireless devices if you see here this one i will take here and here some end devices <coughs> this should connect we will see which access point we are using let me check the access point okay so this model i will use So the, which one this access point I am using I am arranging the small scenario okay this is a small scenario for company imagine you are working in one company as a network engineer So let me take put this device here okay so now what I will say I have three switches imagine this switch is in the second floor and I have two server and this is the first floor here I have access point so if any guests are coming in our organization they can access Wi-Fi signal okay so this is a guest VLAN we can put this is a guest VLAN same guest VLAN we have in the ground floor also so this one I write switch 1 this one is a switch 2 and this one is a switch 3 and what we will do we will create some VLAN so here let me take some color just to differentiate this is the VLAN we can say okay sales VLAN I can say I have sales VLAN in the ground floor since sales VLAN in the first floor and I will take the some different color to differentiate the other VLAN this one I can say this is a guest VLAN okay wherever we have the Wi-Fi signal that is a guest VLAN and I have another VLAN so I will take yellow color here we will say this is the sales we told so we can say this is a content guys okay so now let me write here so you will understand see here we have the three switches this is a ground floor this is first floor this is a second floor here you have the vlan i can say this is a vlan 10 okay and name whatever the name we want to give imagine this is a sales and here we are going to use the subnet as 192.168 
ten dot zero slash twenty four. This subnet we are going to use for VLAN ten. So here also we have the VLAN ten guys. Some guys that is two guys are sitting in the ground floor. Two guys are sitting in the first floor. And we have the other one. This one we can say the guest VLAN. Okay, we can say VLAN thirty or twenty. We can use VLAN twenty. Name we can give here. You can give any name. I am giving here guess, or you can give anything. Okay, guess VLAN, and here IP. What IP we will use? We will use one ninety two one sixty eight twenty dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, so I will copy this. I will put this same here. So what I am saying, this is a guess VLAN. This is also guess VLAN. This one is present in the ground floor. Okay, same thing is present in the first floor also. and what else we have we can see this one so this one i can say this is a account vlan okay i will say this is a vlan 30 name is account and ip subnet is 192.168. vs20 so i will put here 30.0/24 okay so this one So this is the department. We have three department. One is a sales department. One is a content. One is a guest. And here also servers we have. So we can say one server will will be for the content. So I will write here account server. You can give anything. You can write account or tally or anything. You can put tally software is for the account guys. So we can say tally. And account guys is having whatever the subnet we will give, give same here. So I will write here tally one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot hundred. Okay, I am just giving this IP for the tally means account guy server here. Account server is present here. So I will assign the IP here. Let me put the IP here. We will write here. Okay, and we can say this is a sales server. Okay, we can give CRM. Sales team are using CRM ser server, and here IP we can give same subnet. This one one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot zero. So I will write here one ninety two dot one sixty eight ten dot hundred slash twenty four. Okay, so this IP is for the sales server. We can say this is for the sales. So I will copy this. We are going to assign this IP here. Okay, I will remove this here. And if you see what error we are getting, this one we wrote thirty dot hundred, okay. And this one is one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot hundred. So this one is finished. So what I done? Just I design the topology. Here we are using the three department. One is a sales, one is a accountant, another is a guest VLAN. If any supplier or Vendor or guest guys are coming. They can access the Wi-Fi. So now we need to do the configuration. Your manager told create the configuration and configure the trunk and do everything and test. So now we are going to do that one. So first of all, we need to assign the IP to the computer. So let me put the label here. What IP we told? We are going to use the range 192.168.10. So I will write here 192.168.10. Dot One this IP we are going to use. So let me go here inside. I am going to assign here. Okay, and then I will go here and I am going to put as a ten dot two. Okay, so let me go here. I will go to desktop. I am going to assign here ten dot two. Ten dot one here. Ten dot two here, and this one I can say ten dot three. Ten dot three here. So let me put here, and this one I can say ten dot four. Just we are doing one scenario, okay? A small scenario we are creating, and we are assigning this IP. You need to remember we should use the same subnet for the same VLAN. In real scenario, you will see like this only. Whatever the VLAN number we are using, we will use the similar subnet. So easily we can track. Like I am using the VLAN ten, so I will put here one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot zero. Slash twenty four. So one I give here, two I give here, three here, four here, five here. 
okay and same like that we will see sales so sales